Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. There's still going to be some rain around this evening, but it's going to be varying in intensity and coverage also. I think when we get it to about 5, 6, 7 o'clock up to about 10 o'clock, it's mainly light rain and spottier. We get more coverage and heavier rain as we go through the midnight hour and after that. But by morning, it looks like it is pretty much gone. Getting some decent rains coming across uh, parts of Chester County out of Lancaster County right now. Still raining across Lancaster County. Also getting some moderate to uh, heavier rain coming up to Shrewsbury, coming up uh, north of Hereford uh, and up into parts of uh, the Holtwood area right now. But that's about it. This area coming up right now. Eh, this one just formed. You can see this other line out in western parts of Franklin County. But you see yeah, it's getting spottier, not the widespread rain that we had earlier. The heavier rain will come in as we go through the uh, late night, overnight hours. So right now, though, this is the other story. You've been out? It's, it's really mild, near 70 degrees across the region. 70, and I, I want to show you these clouds. This is our live shot from from uh, York. Just well, look how fast those clouds are just zipping across the sky right now. Uh, at last hour, York just cloudy, 70 degrees, and look at the dew point, near 70. That is humid. Yeah, balmy breeze through this evening. Again, there could be some showers around, but it doesn't look like they're going to be widespread. It doesn't look like they'll be too heavy. Could be a few heavier downpours the next hour or two, but then. As we get through the overnight, I think 11, more like midnight, and then up to about 3 in the morning. That time frame is when we think we get some heavier bands of rain. Could be some thunderstorms in with those, and there's enough spin in the atmosphere. We're not ruling out the possibility of a spin-up tornado. It's over by morning. We start with sun. Clouds come back in later in the afternoon. We could have a few showers. Tomorrow's a balmy day, 60s. I think in the afternoon we start to cool down, but nothing dramatic. It's going to be windy, though, through the day tomorrow. Again, we've got 70s here. Look at the 60s all the way back over western Pennsylvania. More importantly, look at the dew point temperatures. 60s to near 70 degrees. That is that tropical air that's coming on through. We're watching this band coming up, and that, again, that could come through eastern counties. But here's that lull. I'm not saying it's going to completely shut off the rain. This is the area we're watching for later on tonight. And that southerly flow continues to bring in that moisture. So we're not through with the rain. This batch gets out of here. We get that break. Here comes the next batch uh, right around midnight. That comes through with the front, and it looks like it's out of here by morning. We're in the 60s for a good part of tomorrow. Starts to get a little cooler tomorrow afternoon. Here come those showers, and look at that. Temperatures drop in the 40s. And we're probably staying in the 40s most of Sunday before we start clearing it out later in the day. Now, checking the rivers and the streams, we thought most of the streams would come up a little bit, and they have, and they're forecasted to come up, continue to come up, but nothing is forecasted to even the action stage. So, decreasing clouds and uh, still mild as we go through the uh, morning tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, breezy tomorrow afternoon. Could be a few showers tomorrow evening. Again, a rain or <clears throat> even a snow shower. Not out of the question on Sunday. It clears late in the day. Sunny, brisk day on Monday. Clouds increase on Tuesday. But notice those temperatures a lot chillier. Yeah.